<laughs> oh my gosh, look, holy smokes. Bam, right there, right off the bat. Whoa, this thing is huge. Ow, those thorns are sharp. Check that one out. My first morel of the season. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm your host, Diamond Miner Ivans. And today I'm going to be walking around my farm looking for morel mushrooms and other type of mushrooms. But we're mainly after the morels because those you can actually cook and eat. And you can also make pretty good money if you uh, decide to sell them. So I have about 84 acres I can search. Right now the morels are growing on a southern slope on the edge of the forest. And so that's where we're going to be looking. I hope you enjoy what you see today. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And I hope I earn your subscription. All right, let's get started. Sorry for the wind noise. It's a windy day. I'm up on a higher area. Can't really go digging at the Crater of Diamonds because it's closed. Hopefully not for too much longer. I'm ready to get back out there and get back in that snake pit. I found two diamonds my last trip. My elbow still hurts pretty bad. I just got back from a Native American place you can dig, South Texas. Well, almost Central Texas really. It's just south of Waco. It's called uh, Christner's Ranch. You can pay a small fee and dig for native artifacts and you can keep whatever you find. So since my elbow is not healed, I'm just gonna walk around today and look for some morel mushrooms. You can see right here is like the edge of some forest type landscape south is that way so right now this time of year the temperature of the soil is perfect but they're mainly going to be growing on the southern slope around uh, elm trees oak trees uh, i think there's a few other trees that they like to grow all right i'm going to get down in here and hopefully get a couple the last time I was in this area, I've been working on this tree, getting the wood, cutting the wood, and a wild hog was right underneath the, where this dead tree fell over. And yeah, we scared each other. Oh, here's some mushrooms right here. They're not morels. I'm not sure what these are. If you know what these are, please leave a comment. I'd appreciate it. There are several. Well, let's see. Let's go down this way. Here's us. Got some trees over here. Kind of got a slope. Definitely a, a slope. And it's facing south. Oh, oh my gosh, look. Holy smokes. Bam. Right there, right off the bat. Whoa. Whoa, this thing is huge. Ow, those thorns are sharp. Check that one out. My first morel of the season. Yes. That's not a bad size. Ooh, nice and... And remember, you always want to flick it and then pick it. And I just picked it at the wrong. There we go. There we go. Number one. Sweet. I hope there's more. Oh, there's one right there. Nice. Look at the size of that one. Oh my gosh, look at this dude. Nice. All right, we're off to a good start. I uh, wasn't expecting to find two right off the bat. Wow. Okay, I'm not seeing any more, but let me walk around and there's got to be a third one. Oh, that was cool. Okay, behind me, I found two right off the start. So we're in a good area. 
So I'm gonna kind of scope, uh, scope out this slope here that's facing south and try to get a few more. Okay, I'm just about, oh, 20 feet, 30 feet over here and I found a few more, but they're dried up. Look at the size of that thing. I mean, I guess these are morels. Yep, thing was just, it's been there for a while. This thing's huge. Right there by the cedar tree. Oh, wow, there's several up in there. Oh, man. I might be late for those. There's a whole bunch right up here if I can get to them. There's the pond. Oh, man, there's just, there's just a bunch. Ah, uh, thorns. I'm trapped. Ah. All right, I got to get out of here. There's just a bunch up there. Here we go. Dang. Check out all these morels. Get over here. Oh, here we go. But they're all dried up. Look at all these things. Here's one. I guess these are morels. They have to be. Yeah, they're morels. Look at the size of that thing. That thing is huge, guys. Dried up. Dang. Keep on walking around. Okay, I just made my way from there. I'm going to jump across. There's the pond right over there. Come over here. Check this uh, area out. Looks like I was a few days late to get those. I've seen at least 20 over there. But they're all dried up. Alright. Let's see. I don't see anything here. Can't crawl through all the briar uh, thorns. Here we go. Here's the opening. Can't believe I found two morels right off the bat. And we found at least 15 over there, but they're all dried up. Uh, let's see. Oh, down here in this other creek. Here's the south. This is facing south. A really big tree. Don't see anything over here. All right, I'll catch back with everybody in a few. Okay, I didn't see any morels on that side. I'm going to jump back over here where we started. Because when there's, when you see morels in a spot, there's going to be more. Hopefully we can find a few more that aren't dried up. I'm going to work my way over here. I'm on the far left where we found all those others. I'm just not seeing anything up in here. That area looks pretty well cleared. We just found two and then a bunch of dried up morels so now i'm work, working my way from there down this way and yeah i'll just walk around here we go here's a nice spot maybe and a big tree wow that tree is awesome check this thing out whoa look at that crazy checked through this area didn't see anything let's head on back out of here we'll walk around if i see something cool i'll bring y'all back in until then don't go nowhere i'm down in the creek bottom and this is like facing the east you know i don't know if that really matters i mean the south is kind of facing i guess it has to be directly south these things are grow i'm not seeing anything except for that one area that was completely facing south i do know where to go next year get out there about the week of april first week of april like the first day of april and go to that spot a 
huge crane. There it goes, flew off. Well, I'm keeping an eye out for a wild hog. We got a, we've had several wild hogs, but here recently I just noticed one and I've actually tried to shoot at it. Kind of hard when he's uh, 10 feet in front of you. The scope just doesn't really work too well. I walked up on it, had no idea it was that close. It's not facing south for one and it's not at the edge of a forest. That's where they're growing at right now. Okay, we started way on that tree line and I walked all the way down and I got into that creek when I was just in. Now I'm walking out and we have visitors. I'm gonna go up here. This is all facing to the south and it's got some trees, so might get lucky. Oh my gosh, they hear this bag. And they think it's food. But they're not that dumb. I just discovered blackberries. All blackberries, blackberries, blackberries. Cool. That's it for this video. I found two morels. Whew. Gonna have a feast tonight. Oh, it was a lot of fun though, just to get out and walk around. Um, let's take a look at what I found. And here's the two that I found. The one that was dried up, the biggest one, it was, the stem alone was bigger than my hand. Could you imagine how big that morel would have been? They're right, everything in Texas is bigger. I hope you all enjoyed this video, morel hunting with me. If you'd like to see more videos like this, let's try to get this video up to 500 likes and I'll get out here and look for morel mushrooms again. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all on the next video. And here they are on the stove cooking. Yummy. I have butter, cooked them a few minutes on one side, and when they get a brown ring around the edge, you'll flip them over, and then let them cook on this side for a little bit, a couple minutes, and then flip them back over. Just wanna make sure they're not undercooked. And I've added salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic.